Hi, Mark Washburn from PondAlgaeSolutions.com, and today I want to address uh, a couple questions that have come in regarding ultrasonic algae control. Now, this is a new technology. We've talked about it a little bit before, but I wanted to go over some of the top questions that we get concerning this approach to dealing with pond algae. Uh, first off, the, the primary question we get is, how does it work? Well, in simple terms, ultrasound and ultrasonic algae control uses high frequencies to uh, basically match the frequency of various algae types. When it matches the frequency, the algae in the pond will start to vibrate pretty violently. As it does, if it's a string algae type, it will damage the cell membrane of the algae and thereby kill it. If it's planktonic, planktonic algae, blue-green algae, uses vacuoles, airbags, which allow it to rise and fall in the pond, and that is its natural life cycle. Ultrasound will vibrate the cells of the algae and, in effect, damage this airbag, making it uh, inoperative. When the algae can't go through its normal life cycle, it will eventually die off, and so that's how it's controlled. Um, another big question we get, does ultrasound, ultrasonic algae control affect fish? No, not in any way, shape, or form. The, the frequencies used in this technology are very specific to algae types. All aquatic uh, wildlife is unharmed. Uh, this technology is being used in some aquarium systems as well as uh, with other uh, aquatic forms like otters. Uh, several zoos are using them with their otter uh, exhibits and things like that. So it's very safe for all uh, wildlife. Um, will ultrasound kill duckweed, water, milfoil, or cattails? No, it will not. Uh, this technology is very very specifically targeted towards algae only. It does work on probably 98% of the algae types, both string and planktonic algae, blue-green algae. It will work on those, but any other aquatic uh, plant, and particularly those that are rooted or considered aquatic weeds, chara, could be included in that list. It will not work on those. Uh, another common question, how long will it take to work? Well, it depends on the algae you're trying to deal with. String algae, because it's dense, or more dense will take longer to eradicate than something like uh, planktonic algae will. Planktonic algae or single cell algae can often be uh, cut through and eliminated within a matter of a day, a few days of, uh, up to a week. Uh, other types of algae it may take at least several weeks uh, to a month to actually see some, some strong improvement in the pond. Um, another common question we get is can I buy just one device and keep moving it around from pond to pond if I have multiple ponds? The answer to that is no. It's the constant bombardment uh, of the algae that allows this to work. And it actually um, and eventually keeps more algae from forming uh, because of a constant stream of ultrasonic waves that work to keep the algae down. Um, Another question that we get quite a bit is uh, the new units that we have, the Sonic Solutions SS series. Uh, how does that compare to the competition? Well, currently as this video is being filmed, those new improved units are, are, in my opinion, extremely advanced compared to anything else on the market today. They use up to 79 frequencies to control algae compared to the competition, which only uses 16. They have a very uh, advanced and improved circuitry uh, they're UL approved and, uh, are, in my opinion, are just a much more advanced unit for a very comparable price. And so that's one of the reasons that we made the switch over uh, in the last year to uh, these new advanced units. Uh, the, the other common question we get is how expensive is all of this to operate? And this is one of the reasons that we recommend people switch to sonic uh, algae control. Compared to any other method, by, by that I mean additives, chemical additives, biological additives, those kind of things, the sonic solutions uh, cost about three to seven dollars a month uh, to operate depending on your local electricity rates. And there's no way that you can treat a very large body of water uh, that affordably in any other way. Um, Aeration is another good option when you look at large water uh, management because it provides a lot of other benefits, again, for very minimal cost. As we go up in size of ponds that we're trying to treat, we make a shift consciously to try to go more away from the additives, which end up adding up 
uh, and cost more in the long run and start looking at mechanical solutions like ultrasound to deal with the algae problems there. Um, generally that's that's about the list of the primary questions that we get time and time again concerning sonic algae control. Uh, I'll close this video um, by simply saying that if you have any additional questions, comments, anything you want to add to this, there's uh, an area that you can do that below this video. Please leave your comments, leave your questions. We'll try to address those there. And uh, I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, we'll surely talk more about the, uh, the value and the capabilities of ultrasonic algae control in future videos. But for now, I hope these questions and the answers help uh, at least give you a better picture of how this uh, great new technology works. Until next time, enjoy your pond. We'll see you again soon.